Good evening, everyone. We're the class of 1959, and we always described ourselves as lively. And, you know, I think we still are. Last night we met um, and had a wonderful time. Uh, there were 10 of us at the, at the uh, party last night. We were a class of, of 24 when we graduated, and we have lost uh, about one third of our members. Um, and, but we had a good turnout last night, and uh, you know, it was 11.30. <laughs> the geezers were out till 11.30. <laughs> but we had a great time. And there are so many things that we got to remembering. And uh, so, we, although this isn't, isn't a very organized program, we did decide that we would take turns talking about a few things. And um, there are some things we talked about last night that we'd better not talk about today. <laughs> but let me introduce the ones that are here. This is Carol Cleveland Larson. You recognize her, I'm sure. And Penny Mang Hicks, Larry Cole, Alfred Johnson, and Judy Stanley Cusrell. And I'm Janet Racky Rayburn. Okay, the few, uh, a few of us said that we would be brave enough to step up and talk a little bit. Uh, some of the things that we did talk about last night were just the era that we were in. Uh, I know my children and my grandchildren don't even understand what it was like not to be able to get to school sometimes because of the roads. That's not something that's a factor anymore. Almost missed my junior prom. <laughs> Couldn't get to town. You know, it had rained or the frost was going out of the ground. If you left really early in the morning in the spring, you could get to school because it was still frozen. And you had to stay in town late, oh darn, so that you could get home at night after, the, after it froze again. And of course, something like that is just, just unknown to the kids today, how it was just a struggle for the country kids to get to school. Also, we were talking last night about how some of you folks remember, there was a dormitory in town. Uh, I don't know for sure when it closed, but the camp, the old camp rest was a dormitory, had 18, 20 country kids staying there at any time, had a dean of women, dean of men, and I've even got a picture. And so we were talking last night about which people we could recognize from that, that dormitory. We didn't have a dormitory when we were in school. We just struggled like everything to get to town. Usually we made it. We also talked about the sports back in that day, and certainly that's a different picture too. So, and Al, would you come up and talk about the, uh, the boys' sports? We had uh, kind of transition years with football. Class of 59 football. Oh, um. <laughs> but you know, uh, football, basketball, track, it's really not a class thing. It's a school thing. Because when we was freshmen, we got to try. Sophomore, maybe some of us got to play a little. Juniors, they expected us to do something, and uh, okay, I'm doing it. And then uh, we learned from the old kids, like Owen Garnett and some of those guys. <laughs> so it's not it's not a class thing; it's a school thing. Uh, we built a pretty car, which kind of sagged a moment or two when most of our games unfortunately. We were pretty ordinary athletically. Well, my arm is tired already. <laughs> but we, we really enjoyed athletics. It was a um, put the school together kind of a program. And we are proud of every one of our special moments that we all thought was unbelievably reproducible. And next year, somebody would just make it whole hum. So. But athletics is important to us, it's important to our school, and I'm proud to have been a part of it. Okay, okay. <laughs> we uh, was unique. Sometimes we didn't have enough kids to play. And other times we had too many, and everybody got ticked off because they didn't all get to play. But we did play six-man football. We played eight-man football. And I think we're probably one of the classes that was uh, able to do that. We got too big for six, and we found out it was too little for eight. <laughs> we did it. Okay, what else, John? Good one.